chapter 3. My name is Giovanni, and I will share with you my vision for a better future. A multicultural society, where every child, no matter where they are from, has the rights for equal opportunity, the rights to study, and the rights to have fun and be happy. I want to tell you my story, and how football has hugely influenced me. When I was only four years old, my parents signed me up to a football club called Bucks FC, who run weekly training sessions and matches in the parks of London. For me, it was Hyde Park. But at that time, I didn't know anything about football, nothing. My parents, however, had a great idea to use football for making new friends in London. We had just arrived here from Pisa, Italy, in 2013, with me not speaking English at all. Do you know what happened next? Well, I must say that at the start it was tough. Even though I started to enjoy myself running after the ball, I really didn't like going there each Sundays. I felt frustrated because I couldn't understand anything of what my coach or teammates were telling me. I was about to give up. But then, week after week, match after match, goal after goal, I started to really feel part of the Foxes FC team. Magically, not only school, but also football training helped me to quickly break down these difficult language barriers. It seems that using football for making friends hasn't only worked for me. Recently, I read that in many countries around the world, there are organizations sponsored by UNESCO and UNICEF that deliver football-based social integration programs. They work with migrants to bring people of different nationalities together and help little kids build up new relationships. Local residents and migrants coming from different nationalities with different traditions and opinions all meet up on a football pitch and by simple shooting and passing fields learn how to work as a team, how to make decisions, how to resolve conflict and therefore contribute to a more inclusive and peaceful society. I am an absolutely huge supporter of an Italian club called Internazionale. Or Inter for short. One day, my dad told me it's an inspiring story of Inter's birth. Let's turn the clock back to the 9th of March, 1908. Let's imagine we are in a Milan's restaurant called L'Orologio, just a stone's throw from the Duomo. But here, 44 brave AC Milan supporters decide to leave Milan's only club because it refuses to accept any player who isn't Italian. That day, the new club, Internazionale, was founded on the belief that Noi siamo i fratelli del mondo. We are the brothers of the world. I believe that everyone in our world should be equal. Nelson Mandela once echoed this great philosophy. Sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. I must say that despite our rivalry, AC Milan has learned this valuable lesson. Welcoming players from all around the globe, such as Kaka from Brazil, Playing football is not only having fun kicking off the ball, it's also hard work and discipline. But hard work doesn't always guarantee success. Failure is tough, but through failure, football teaches us resilience and perseverance. Now, I play for the under-11 Foxes FC team in a Sunday league. I must confess, we finished rock bottom of our league table, lost match after match, conceded goal after goal, week after week. Yet, I have never ever thought to leave my team. Because football has taught me to have no fear of failure. Accept criticism. Take on challenges. This is the only way to improve. In other words, football teaches us to develop a growth mindset. And this mindset isn't just helpful on the pitch, but it's also been a key to my success in the difficult 11 plus process. Sadly, early this year, coronavirus has struck the world like an atomic bomb. Boof. Social distancing rules meant a temporary ban on matches and training. 
In this case, football has again saved me and my teammates. As our wonderful coach Daniel sends us social media challenges to cheer us up in these difficult moments. The first one was the toilet paper keepy uppy challenge. On the right is Daniel's attempt and on the left is my attempt. I will let you decide who is better. Premier League footballers have also decided to help the NHS in this fight, as they made their own collective player initiative and partnered with NHS charities altogether. Fubu is not only exercise for our muscles, but also for our mind. Because when we play sport, our body produces a magical chemical dopamine called the happy hormone. We feel brilliant, our spirit is high, and there is no room for anxiety and tension at all. And happiness comes with self-esteem and self-confidence. Now, I will tell you another story about me. I am a shy boy, very shy. And during my last Christmas holiday in Puglia, Italy, where I am from, I had the chance to join a local football team just for a couple of days in, in San Giorgio Ionico. But I knew no one there. I felt a complete stranger. But then, in the middle of a match, our striker was badly, badly fouled in the box. And the referee blew his whistle and shouted penalty. But no one wanted to take it. The tension was high. At that moment, I made my decision, decided to take one for the team. My hand shot up in the air. I declared I would take the penalty. I placed the ball on the spot. And I kicked the ball into the top corner. Go! This is a great example of how football and sport can teach us to be more fearless. Also, football promotes fair play values, such as integrity and respect. Some of us might remember the remarkable story of Marcelo Bielsa, Leeds United manager, who won the 2019 FIFA Fair Play Award. After ordering his players to let Aston Villa score a late, late equaliser, because his side had scored while a rival was down in it. This is again an example of how Noi siamo i fratelli del mondo! I am sure that the beautiful game, in the words of Pele, will keep promoting initiatives to improve the lives of many, many people around the world. Because when we play sport, aiming for victory, we work hard in our individual roles. But we must work together as one. Same in life, isn't it? We must believe skills learned on the pitch are lessons for life. From a Milan's restaurant against racism, to helping our NHS fight against coronavirus, Football has brought us together. Now, that's enough talk. Time to play.